Hello everybody and welcome back to Frostpunk. Okay, things are looking better now than they ever have. We're getting more and more automation going with our um, automatons. We have our factory, of course, which is producing ever more automatons um, as we progress through this game. Uh, we have two queued up. We really just need 100 steel to get each of them started, but once we get them started, um, we're going to put them to work in the coldest places and keep our people to work things like infirmaries and hunters huts. So I'm getting a notification that our storage is near capacity for raw food and this is telling me that we need to build more stockpiles. We never want to be losing out on efficiency because we don't have the storage for it. So we're going to look for resource depot and what a better place for a resource depot than right next to all of the hunters huts. So I think we're gonna go ahead and put a resource depot um, probably right here. We could probably fit um, one more next to it as well um, if we need. Um, so this is currently a coal resource depot. This can be a food resource depot. And once we start getting, I think like we could probably afford like another wood resource depot somewhere. Probably buy our sawmill and our wall drill. Do we even have a wood resource depot? We might not even have one yet. Yeah, it looks like our wood stockpile capacity is pretty low, so we could probably build another one of those. Of course, it does cost 20 steel, and we do want to be saving up steel because I think there are a couple more tents that need to get upgraded into bunkhouses, and of course we're using the steel to build our automatons as well. Um, so we do want to be rationing steel as best we can. Um, these steam coal thumpers are functioning, but their stockpiles are at capacity, and of course the automatons are responsible for emptying up the stockpile. So. I'm going to change them to regular working hours instead of the extended working hours. This way, hopefully, the automatons will be able to better keep up. Um, our people will be less discontented as well. Alright, a tip from a believer, Captain Woman has revealed that she knows where some of the Londoners gather will act on the information. Fantastic. Um, I think it might be time for another cookhouse, because I actually we have full raw food now, but um, we don't have... Um, we're not cooking it fast enough, so I think we might build another cookhouse. Um, one thing we're going to need to do is keep on with our research. So I think generator range upgrade level 2 is going to be good. Um, that's only going to cost us 40 steel, and then we'll also get the heater efficiency. Um, so we do need to wait until we get 40 steel for that, but that shouldn't be too much long, longer of a wait. Um, last thing I wanted to check before we pause the game. Okay want to make sure we're like running these as soon as we can when the cooldown finishes. Okay, we're going to wait for 40 steel so we can start our next, next research project. Alright, our London number of Londoners is down to 14. This is the best we've ever been. Okay, so we're going to start a new project and then we're going to build a new cookhouse next time we get some more steel. And then we need to continue researching upgraded... Um, resource buildings like steam coal mines is there an upgraded version of that so if i go into resources advanced coal mines okay that's gonna be a little while we could get a steam wall drill not necessary because again like um wood is not something we're really struggling for that much but advanced steel works would be nice that's in the next uh resource the next uh research tier um, that's probably as much as we need for this kind of uh, tech tree. Infirmary mechanization allows infirmaries to employ fewer people. We're not short on people right now, so that's not a problem. We sh could and should upgrade houses. That's just going to be a lot of steel that we don't have right now. Um, it's kind of late in the game to start doing hot houses. I think we'll just stick with our uh, with our hunters. They're probably good enough to see us through the end of the game. I wonder if hot houses would have been more efficient, because uh, hunters are kind of what you start with, but oh well, you know, we're committed to just going a full full meat diet. We're carnivores. Um, house insulation also sounds nice. House redesign probably makes them cheaper. Okay, so there's some good stuff in this that we need, also need to research. 
Then in exploration, what can we get? Ah, I wanna, okay. I wanna get some of these automaton integration. Is this the thing that improves their speed? I think it might be, okay. Okay, so this one we can set to raw food. We have some steel, so we can go ahead and build another cookhouse. We're going to want to probably open the temperature overlay. Oh, it doesn't let us open the temperature overlay. But we're gonna to want to put the cookhouse somewhere where it's warm enough and it's not going to be inoperative due to heating issues. I want to save this space for thumpers, that's why I'm not putting it there, right next to the hunter's huts, where it would make the most sense to put it, honestly. Um, but I think here might be an okay place for it. I think here would be a great place for it, actually. Make use of all this space that we have that's heated. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put it there. Um, I see a couple roads that we could get caught up on. I want to make sure we have like our road network fully kind of fleshed out and built up in the city. So it's a very traversable city. Um, I don't know if the roads actually influence walk speed. I like to think that it does. So we're gonna have roads built everywhere. There we go, okay. Any more resource depots we should build? Oh, I was saying we should build this uh, wood resource depot. A new automaton has been built, fantastic. We'll go ahead and assign it straight away somewhere. Um, but we do want to place our wood resource depot somewhere, um, and I th think this is the this is the wall drill, right? And this is the sawmill. So we're gonna want to go ahead and put our resource de depot for wood, probably like right here, would be a perfectly good place for it. Um, okay, and that um, automaton, I think. We will assign to take care of, I think some steel production around the clock might be nice. So these steam steel works might just start having an automaton replace the workers at these uh, places. Okay, um, how many automatons do we have working now? I think that puts us up to four. I wish it told us here. Oh, we do have four automatons. Okay, it does say right there. Zero out of four. Um, we have two possible steam cores to use. So I think um, we'll focus on maybe building a few prostheses. They only cost 10 steel. We have three amputees, so let's build three prostheses for the time being. Oh, these, these produce real quickly. All right, we have some kind of event popping up here. Test subject needed. Sir, the engineer working on the automaton project is back. He wants to borrow an automaton. I don't know what's happening here. Um, I'm close to a breakthrough. I just need the automaton for a day and I believe I'll be able to propose a scientific modification that will raise the performance permanently. All right, we're gonna be down one automaton for 24 hours. We can handle that. Um, of course, this is working at 0% efficiency because one of our automatons is out. That's fine, we'll just go ahead and put our workers back there. Why is it still at 0% efficiency? Oh, now it's at 12% efficiency. Okay, should be working fine now. Um, did we build our hothouse yet? Uh, not our hothouse, our cookhouse. It's in the process of being built. So is our wood resource depot. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and bump up the speed just a little bit. Generator range upgrade has been researched. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and... I don't think we need the fully insulated houses just yet. I'm gonna go ahead and start this. We need to save up 75 steel for that. Okay, we'll be saving up 75 steel to start that as soon as possible. We're gonna get five workers working here at the cookhouse. Okay, we have 75 steel exactly, so we can start on the difference engine. 
We're out of steel. Yes, we know. Yes, we know. All right, this can be from wood. Um, we're probably gonna need some more coal stockpiles, if I'm being honest. We wanna make sure we have plenty of storage for coal. But of course, we don't have the steel for that right now. We can introduce a new law and our scouts have reached the ruined warehouse. Okay. Three of the four walls are still standing, protecting a small stash of snow-covered supplies. There is wood and raw food here. Okay. We don't really need any of those resources desperately, um, to be honest. Is there still no new places to explore? I think we might have overdone it with the exploring. Frozen pond. I don't know if we're supposed to have all of this explored. I remember the first time I played this game, I was still had stuff unexplored by the time the game was ended. But now I feel like, um... Now I just feel like I'm completely <laughs> overdoing it with the exploration. We're gonna have everything explored probably in the, this episode or the next episode. This facility has been closed. Oh, that's our steam hub. Um, one thing I did off camera is I think I, I turned off the steam hub with the hunter's huts. Because they go out at night, and they go out in the cold anyway, so I don't think we really need to heat these buildings. At least, that's what my my understanding of it is. Um, seems like we're going to need some more resource uh, depots for cooked food as well. Um, we can put that uh, probably right across the way from this cookhouse. Right here. Yeah, let's put it right here. Um, we can make that for cooked food. Um, where's our factory? Actually, let's do this. Make sure we're kind of running these cooldowns as often as possible. I think we're going to get to zero Londoners today. If we go back to our factory, let's go ahead and queue up two automatons. Difference uh, engine has been researched. Steam core needed. Sir, the engineer working on the automaton project sent in a report. He broke the automaton he borrowed, now he wants a steam core. The damage hasn't been for nothing, we can fix the broken machine, and on top of that, we can now adjust automatons to make them work faster. The engineer's busy again now, but says he's onto something really exciting. Of course. We'll give him a steam core. Of course, we're very happy to, to keep this guy working. Um, we're very excited to see what we can do. Flying Hunter's gear, thanks to better weapons and enhanced direction, Hunters will, setting out from the Hunter's hangar, will return with more raw food from each hunt. Okay, that's going to be good, maybe in a little bit later. Infirmary checklist, infirmaries will heal people faster, that's really great. Um, house and house redesign is going to be good for us. Um, but what I'm most interested in is automaton integration, boosting their efficiency up to 80% of a, a human working crew. I think that's great. We get faster outpost teams. Outpost teams and resource transports will move 50% faster. I'd just rather have more outpost teams, but I don't think we're going to be able to get that. I don't think we need additional scouts either. Automaton integration it is. We just need to save up 30 steel. Okay. We can save up 30 steel. 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, perfect. That's not the one we want. This is the one we want. Start researching. Now, we have two automatons available again. So let's get the automatons working the steel place overnight. Um, you know what? Scratch that. We're gonna have, uh, we're gonna continue to have workers working here because I wanna have this heater on. I wanna focus all of our automatons into this kind of coal area that's currently being heated because once we get this all worked by automatons we can just turn off the heater and that's less coal upkeep that we need to pay for um so let's go ahead and get an automaton working at this steam coal mine here and we can get an automaton working at one of the coal thumpers as well okay this, of course, needs a specialization, and I think we said it was going to be food rations. Perfect. Uh, we need some resource depots for coal as well. We're, we're running, stockpiling coal, and that's actually something I'm very happy about. 
I don't mind having an excess of coal because um, I have a feeling as we push the farther and farther into this game, we're just going to start burning through coal like nobody's business. And it's going to be a good thing that we have all this coal. Okay, so our, cout, our scouts have arrived at the snow-covered supplies. Uh, snow covering the crates is deep, but we're sure there are some valuable supplies buried down there. Okay, there's some raw food. Under the snow, we had covered many crates full of supplies. There's no telling who might have left them here. It's a good thing it's freezing out. It's just like a free freezer. Um, okay. It's kind of difficult to see the next possible places, but there's a stone ship. This place is the only thing standing out in the endless white desert. What is a stone ship? Like a ship that transports stones or a ship made out of stone? You couldn't have a ship made out of stone, so it's got to be a ship that transports. Or a wrecked vehicle. Okay, let's send these, these scouts. Um... We also want to explore the frozen pond. New landmark. Our search hasn't uncovered anything valuable. We may be able to reach some promising new locations from here. Okay. New landmark. There's no new locations to go from here. That's fine. We'll send one of our scouts here to the stone ship. There's a wrecked vehicle. We'll send our other scouts there. Keep pushing on. Okay. So our automaton, our coal thumpers are working at 75% efficiency, I think. Yeah, it looks like all of our automatons are up to 75%. That's pretty good. Londoners, they are leaving. Sir, the time is at hand. The Londoners have gathered the city and the generators for the last time. They're going to leave the city. This is our last chance to stop them from committing mass suicide. Whatever they said and did, they're still our people, even if they no longer think so. Stay with us, you'll die out there. Thanks to the city's high hope, most Londoners will stay. Let them go. We could let them leave forever or equip them for the journey. Londoners will receive 100 food rations. Hope will fall slightly. Um, stay with us, you'll die out there. We have enough hope to just convince them to stay. There they go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 of them. We lost 10 people. Looks like we lost them anyways. They're going to die. Londoners file out of the city. One of them stops in front of you for a moment. She looks like she's about to say something, but she just sighs, shakes her head, and follows the others. They soon vanish in the whiteout, their tracks erased by the tumbling snow. We'll pray for them. We'll pray for them for sure. Okay, well, that's ten fewer mouths to feed. If they don't want to be here, we don't want to be wasting our food on them. Uh, we'll continue with the temple services, even though it's probably not necessary now, due to the fact that, um, what's, what am I trying to say? It's probably not necessary now, due to the fact that we don't have L Londoners threatening to leave the city. And we have really high hope and really low discontent anyways. Um, at the Steam Steelworks, though, I'm gonna put these guys on extended hours. We're just hurting for steel too badly consider anything else. Um, we're going to want a resource depot for coal. We have a little coal district here, so let's go ahead and build a couple more of these resource depots. They cost 20 steel each. That's expensive. Worth it, but expensive. All right. Once it gets cold um, to minus 60, I think we'll go ahead and bump this up. The cookhouse is chilly. We can probably heat that place up. I'm just looking at any buildings that need to be heated. Um, this cookhouse is chilly. We could probably turn the heater on there. Um, child shelter is doing okay. We have a couple tents that need to be upgraded into bunkhouses. Okay, our scouts have reached the stone ship. Let's see what this means. A distinct spot in the Frostland, we can use it as a waypoint for further exploration. Our search hasn't uncovered anything of value, but we may be able to reach some more promising locations from here. Okay, I think we've done all the exploration. Let's just return our scouts to the city, I guess. Let's just return them to the city. We've explored everywhere there is to go. So 
So of course we're not producing coal right now because we're full up and I don't like that we're, f that we're not producing coal just because we're full up. Um, is that a research option for resource depots holding more? Large resource depots. We might consider doing that. We might consider doing that. So we can stockpile a lot more. Though there's no reason we can't just build a bunch of these small ones. It's not like critical for our survival. There are more important things for us to focus on here. How much does bunkhouse cost? 10 steel. So we can upgrade at least one of our one of our tents to bunkhouse. Well, things are going very swimmingly here. We have one seam core available. I think we're going to save it? Not sure. I do keep wanting to get more automatons. Um, we'll make this be coal. Resource depot, resource depot. Oh, that's a cemetery. Apparently I can't build a street there for some reason. Okay. Temperature is falling, 10 degrees. I think we're gonna turn this up to steam level three. I'm gonna check the temperature overlay, see how we're doing with steam level three. Seems like most places are chilly now. Nope. We're doing just fine. Steam level three is doing us wonders, okay? We're gonna be fine. This wall drill is, of course, a little chilly. No worries. We can put the heaters on in these places. Um, I'm a little bit concerned. That we don't need We do need this steam hub on. It should just be working on working hours though. Yeah, it is just working on working hours. Okay, we have the coal to spend. I don't wanna be like wasting our coal willy nilly. We've researched um, upgraded efficiency for our automatons. So we need to pick a new research thing. Coal mining rationalization. Coal mines, steam coal mines and advanced coal mines will be another 10% more efficient. Very tempted. Advanced Steelworks. That's got to be our priority, right? Advanced Steelworks it is. Um, we have one more house that we need to upgrade into a bunkhouse. There we go. We have an event to look over. A tip from a believer. Captain Woman has told us that she overheard her neighbors talking about hoarding food and other supplies. We'll follow the lead. Okay, people are hoarding food. That's not a good place to be in. Uh, we're gonna continue to need more resources, so resource depot, we're gonna stockpile as much coal as we can here, there we go, we probably need another raw food um, storage place as well, we just need 20 steel. We have one available automaton. Where do we want to put it, assign it to work? We have automaton here, we have an... Uh, what am I saying? We have an automaton here. This place is almost fully... automated. Automatomated. Okay. Got an event. The Automaton Project a huge success, sir. The Automaton Project is complete. Automatons can now be produced at lower cost and use the medical facilities. We learn to modify the automatons with precision attachments, allowing them to work in the most fragile thing we know of, the human body. It also turns out we can remove some non-essential parts. All right, the cost falls by 5%. That's really good for us. Uh, we're happy all around. We can enact a new law. Adaptation. 
Signed, extra rations for the ill. What does triage do? We're able to dedicate all of our efforts to healing those who can recover quickly at the cost of sacrificing the more severely ill. No, we don't need to do that. Ceremonial funerals. Those who give their lives in service of the city demand the highest honor. We will give our dead ceremonial funerals to inspire the living. Loss of hope caused by deaths is halved. Um, I don't think we need to worry about that right now. I actually think we're doing good on laws. I don't think there's any laws I'm really excited about enacting. We don't need any of these. We're 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 sitting we're sitting really really good here. Okay. The cookhouse says its storage limit has been reached, so we need to find where we put our resource depot for cooked food for food rations I think this is it and we'll go ahead and build another one we we'll also need to build another coal one here's our coal place go ahead and build two more we'll stockpile as much coal as possible um, who knows how much coal we're gonna need in the coming coming months okay How are our scouts doing? Our scouts are doing fine. Uh, I think we're going to end the episode here. I mean, we don't have anything to complain about now. Things are so, so good. This is a gathering post, not a resource depot. Okay, we'll have to deconstruct it and rebuild the proper thing. The, the, are these gathering posts as well? Let's cancel. These are supposed to be resource depots. This is a resource depot proper. Okay. Um, fantastic. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.